I'm gazing upward, a world I can't embrace. There's only thorns and splinters, venom in my veins. It's okay to cry. Yo, what is up, guys? I, I might do something different with this video just because I feel like uh, the last 329 videos I've done, that's a random number, has just been screaming. Screaming and or angered. Well, uh, not really anger, since anger will be brought upon this video. Because uh, I need to finish my review of COD Ghost, which I should have done in one long 20 minute video that no one would have watched or liked, commented, and subscribed to. But I, I do like having long videos because they... It, you know, it's like, a, it's like a good night song, except with more biblical me. You know, you feel me? So, there won't be any yelling at this, mainly because of the fact that is, I'm hungry. And when I'm hungry, I don't like yelling. Because it makes me even hungrier. Whatever that means. So anyways, this is a dual KEM strike. Uh, by TNT and I think Matrix. So I will link the channel down in the description. And if I remember and go back to this video, please remind me if I don't. I'll put their thing on the screen so you can click on it and subscribe there. These guys, honestly, Matrix and TNT, the only ones who I, who I know who have actually been getting gameplays that have recorded them. You know, I know people getting gameplays, but these are the only two people that are actually recording them. I mean, Matrix, as of the time I did this video, has gotten the world's fastest KM strike at 100... No, uh, 1 minute and 11 seconds, which is 71 seconds, right? Right? Yeah, 71 seconds, which is the fastest beat in the previous record of 96. Uh, that's pretty impressive. I mean, it's, it's really impressive, actually. My fastest is probably, you know, the 10 minute KM strike I had on Strike Zone. This is on Free Fall, which is a map that I honestly haven't even downloaded yet. It, they, they, it was the map you're supposed to get when you pre-order. I didn't pre-order, and I still got the map. I, I mean, that, that's that's marketing right there. I never pre-order games just because I don't give a shit. I don't need to pre-order them. They never sell out. I'm not in New York City where, you know, maybe a game sells out. Which, on the other hand is, if a game sells out consistently at the same place, uh, the man... The, the, man, man, the, man, the, man, the, man, the managerial... Ah... Uh, services at that place should assume that it's going to sell out and maybe they should buy more. I don't know. The, the people at these, uh, you know, franchises are so retarded that their mental IQ is lower than that of a person without a brain. And then there, there is actually a person without a brain. It, it's terrible to say, but it's the funniest looking thing I've ever seen. I'm pretty sure somebody just called in their KEM right there. I do not know. I, I am watching the gameplay, but I am not, you know, experiencing first. Thing. Yeah, Matrix called in his. This is a duel, meaning two people got KEMs each. And supposedly the good game type to play is the one they play, which I'm not telling you what it is because it's something different. Uh, I honestly don't even know what what it is exactly, but yeah. See, he just told me right here that Mosh Pit is the new multi-team hardpoint, which I... Don't know. I look for Mosh Pit. I don't know where that is. Is it in Core Hardcore or in Clan v Clan? I do not know. But he said run with three people or something, and uh, you will do very well. Which, if it's the new multi-team hardpoint, I'm gonna slip my wrists and just kill myself because I cannot stand multi-team hardpoint and all the people who just played that for stats. Not really gameplays, but stats. Anyways, let's get on to the. I think I finished with maps last time. Now, I'm going to go to C4. I don't like C4. It, it's as gay as it is in this game as it was in the last one. I don't know if you can scavenge it, though. Maybe not, but still, it's just not okay. Because it, usually the people you use C4 are those who lack real, you know, gun skills. So they're always dying. And on the other hand, they always spawn. Throw it, throw it, die, throw it, die, throw it, die, throw it. It's a repeating process that I cannot stand. And um, it's, it's, it's not working well for me. Let's see what else is there. There's a spawn system in this game, which makes me laugh, right? They have the biggest maps ever in a Call of Duty, on average, if you were to calculate the square, you know, feet, meters, kilometers of a map. They're bigger than any game, any Call of Duty previous to this, even all the DLC of a game. They're the biggest in this game, which is funny. You know, they make the biggest maps ever, take out Ground War, which makes no sense to me. I mean, you can take out Ground War, that's fine. You get rid of all the faggots who use gameplays in Ground War, but... Then you put in the biggest maps in history in this game, which is just depressing as hell. I, I can't stand it because this would be the only game I'd actually play Ground War except for MW2 because the maps are perfectly sized for Ground War. Oh, they'll be on the new consoles, Xbox One and PS3, PS4. That is excellent, isn't it? 
That's great. I mean, your game lacks as much stuff as it is already, so why don't we, you know, reduce even more stuff? Anyways, what else is there? Yeah, the spawns are terrible. They spawn right behind you. On Stonehenge, uh, if you have A and C and they have B, they'll spawn right next to you if you're inside B. And that's if you have multiple people in there, anyways. It, 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 it's just so bad, I can't stand it. The spawns in this game, you think making a map bigger would have a better effect? Honestly, no. There's no better effect in this game than there would be if the maps were smaller. The, the spawns are still trash, the maps are trash, so you just created a double negative, which relatively would be a positive, but it's not. Actually, wait. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. Double negatives and bullshit like that. Whatever. Let's see. What else is there? Support kill streaks. I don't. I don't agree with these. I think I mentioned these before. The only thing I don't agree with would be the Oracle. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's support, which it's a VSAT that allows you to see people through walls. It's. It's not okay. It's really easy to get, even for those retards who just hip fire across the wall, crouch walk everywhere, sit in corners. Because sitting in corners is uh, as successful in this game. As clearly doing anything else. I mean, if you sit in a corner, you're guaranteed to be a beast. So, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. Make sure you subscribe to these guys. They're beasts. And, uh, leave a like.